Hey there, welcome. What it look like? Want to bring something to you that I've been looking at and you know, kind of meet what I've been doing lately, which is something that's a, a, a little bit risky and dangerous, but at the same time, if it pays off, it's gonna pay off so big eventually. If you're not familiar with VV, it's basically NFT made simple for dummies. And if the dummies kind of slipped and fell and hit their head and needed extra help to understand what NFTs were, you basically download an app and with your Apple on Google Play or, or Apple Store, you know, and if you have Apple Pay, I'm sorry, I said Apple Pay or Apple Store or Google uh, Play. And if you have like uh, probably uh, Google Pay, is Google Pay a thing possibly an Apple Play Pay, uh, you could just buy Will convert your money to these things called gems. Now, this is the big thing. This is why I say it's super risky. Currently, there's no way to convert gems back to real, quote unquote, real money, fiat currency. There's no way to convert gems to anything at this point. Any other cryptocurrency that can, you know, we can figure a way to get back or take off the site or transfer these NFTs off the site so it's super risky because this can all go kaput and do whatever you put into it go bye bye so remember that be cautious be smart none of this is financial advice none of this is anything except me telling you what i like to do sometimes in the dark with lights on me like this so what is vv vv is an app that basically you can download and buy and trade sell to other people for these gems nfts of the, you know you know for most of us and i'm a diehard individual who understands and enjoys the cryptocurrency digital asset market the decentralized aspect you know i go down some, some places that would be you know or look, look People look at you like, you like, yeah, you speak another language. And this is not, you know, nothing that is something I picked up later in life. Right. But this is very this is something that I think is why I said speculative, but super huge. If it blow up, because this is what, you know, NFT people be like, oh, you know, for most people, they think NFT is just the um, PFP projects, the uh, player profile. Um, and, you know, like the board apes or the. Uh, the zombie toads or whatever it may be. People think that's what it the constitutes that with everything that becomes an NFT and that's not an NFT is so much more. NFT, like I said before, if I have it is a specific coin slash token that represents something in time and space. Not to be traded, I mean it can be traded hundred percent, but it's to represent represent something very specific. Uh, unique as opposed to others that represent a concept that can that can be used back and forth and for all purposes when they use word fungible is interchangeable uh, that are indistinguishable you know but the the nfts are specifically something that is meant to be you know known to be unique on the blockchain and that can be represent a picture. Here we're going to show some different things. It can it can, rep it can represent um, a deed for a house, a contract. It can represent plenty of things. What an NFT can represent. So long and short of it, VV is an app that easy download, easy set up, easy to convert your money over. Remember, can't convert it back. Not yet. That's the key. We'll get to that. But you can buy NFTs of stuff you recognize. You know, pe people go, they, they look, they recognize Spider-Man. They recognize the Hawk, um, Adventure Time. You know, this is going to be, we'll talk about the drop that's coming tomorrow. You can get in on all of this. They, rep they know Powder Puff, Ghostbusters, DC, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future. Th this is what people know and recognize and want to own pictures of. So... The active users right now, less than 300,000. I'm not sure how how um, up to date, up to minute right now these sources are. Um, 
you know, it just talks about people want to want to collect things. And and I'm going to show you how these digital, you know, by artists, famous artists like Todd McFarlane, Scott Snyder, Jim Lee, these digital sculptures can be used. And I'll give you an example a little bit later. Todd McFarlane, Batman is dope. So people like to collect things and to be able to collect things that are unique and, you know, limited. These have limited counts. You know, so quickly, long and short of it is, like I said, my thought is eventually, you know, okay, let's... Tomorrow, they're going to drop this new Spider-Man with the introduction of when he got back to Earth with the uh, symbi symbiotic uh, costume became the, the, the you know, the, the, the black costume for Spider-Man, which was actually the symbiote that, you know, took a little bit of Peter's powers, found Eddie Brock in his anger, created Venom later but the, what they're crazy they're doing about this normally they have like forty thousand of these issues of whatever issues you know that they may have they only have a thousand of these a limited limited run with 40 only 40 of this true believer variant the secrets rare and you can you have a chance to get them tomorrow for six bucks so that's the long and short vv i think and and my thesis on it is this these companies would not go into business with this app and allow people to spend, quote unquote, real money on these without eventually having a way to get it back to, quote unquote, real money, because it would be a super huge class accent. Uh, my words are destroyed. I didn't got to, I mean, you know, hey, but I got to go through the terms of service where they be like, hey, we don't guarantee at any point, but it would be such a huge class action lawsuit against every company that did business with them and you can't you know hey hey look they can block us a video game yeah you gave us the money and um what you expect out of it you know you got an experience but nah, they, they, so i believe at some point you'll be able to money will be able to flow in both directions in this world and when that happens and now look it's been you know you go back and you can find videos people have been harping about it for months you know i you know first heard of vv and saying they were coming to immutable x and supposedly when they come to immutable x that's when the money will be able to go back and forth between ethereum and uh the coin that they decide to go with with vv but it's going to happen one day and when it does VV will go from if it is at 400 some odd thousand to millions, if not hundreds of millions of people who are going to because I'll show you in a second. When we, <clears throat> excuse me, when we talk about the metaverse. Imagine having a statue of whatever favorite character you have and then can make it. I was telling my wife just joking earlier, like saying something I said, imagine you know, she, she cares less about any of this stuff. So you know, I'm talking to myself when I say that. I better have a Galactus in the metaverse and make it big as, big as a Galactus. She had to giggle at that one. That was pretty funny. Big as, you know, big giant look like a, you know, big guard, bodyguard standing next to whatever building I have. <laughs> so please, Vivi, if someone else there is here, I don't think they do. I, not, make a Galactus. Come on. And don't make it too expensive so I can get one. But we'll talk a little bit. Let's let's jump into that real quick. One day I'll, you know, get good and have the ability to kind of do all of this on, on the screen and make it look sweet. But right now, uh, we're we in the streets, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We're in the streets with it. So, hold on a second. Let me give myself a little bit more cord. Oh, shoot. All right. Take two. Either we're going to pretend that didn't happen or I, I or I cut it from the video. We'll see if I was how far I decided to go with it. Anyway, long story short, the app, this is on iPhone. 
Um, topic got collectibles, comics, drops, and brands. Here we talked about some of the brands. We'll go through it, just scroll through it quickly. As you can see. So, not, you know, feel free to download yourself and look. That, that charge nothing, uh, cost nothing, and then you have to, you know, set things up to be able to transfer money if you so decide. But anyway, I'm going to show you my collection real quick and then just give you my thoughts on something. So, this is one of my first rooms. Now, I'm a gamer and this, uh, is not the best in terms of the controls. So it's like a vault. Oh, well, you can see that. But you can actually do this in VR, which is actually pretty cool. It's like a bit of the metaverse. I'm not going to do too much in here, but over here, I got a Robin, Batman Who Laughs, Storm over in the corner. Alligator Loki, got a falcon up. Flying up top here. Voltron, a Deadpool, and a Batgirl. Now, you can control like the sizes. Let me see if you can. So you can make it bigger, smaller in your space. move it around different things and you can when i say ar you can set it up to where you can if a big enough space put this out and then literally walk around actually i'll show kind of what that look like here if i if i can this table it may not be you know Now let me do it here. Scan it for surface. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you can do it empty as well. You have multiple rooms. This one has like an ocean sound as well. And I'll show you why. Or actually... I would guess air sound. Cause you're, in, you're up here, like up in the clouds. I don't know if you're supposed to be in a penthouse or some type of flying, <laughs> flying vehicle. I'll open this one. Like I said, the controls. Plus, I'm doing it in a weird way as I'm trying to record. So, apologize. In here. Have a Groot, Christmassy, Super Girl and Bat Girl. It's weird that they're both girls as opposed to, I mean, you know, car girls, most of the Superwoman and Batwoman, but you know, years of injustice. What do you expect? Zombie Captain America, Zombie Hunter, Spider Man, and I'm not big of a big Star Wars fan. I'm sorry huge Star Wars fan. Not big of a Star Trek. I appreciate it, but not a big giant Star Trek fan. But this is a Borg, a rare Borg, which is a one-to-one. -one. So in the metaverse, I'll be able to increase this in size to whatever the size of Borg cube is. So I was like, that may be something to have. So like I said, my thesis with all of this is that eventually they'll have to allow this to be sold. These are the comic books you can buy. Let's go to comics. For example, so I showed you saw the Spider-Man is coming up. Let's go to for you who those are no, who don't know, Iron Fist issue 14 was the first appearance of Sabretooth. And it was printed in 1975 and they have common, uncommon, rare Ultra rare, and then this is the secret rare. Secret rare is selling now for $328. And there are a 
600 editions of those. And the regular commons are selling for eleven dollars and thirty eight cents. So thought on a lot of a lot of these are gonna go balloon in price once people start to feel comfortable buying and taking their money off and wanting to own these digital assets because you can, you know, in my collection comic books. Let's just go Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom first edition. You have to load, but you can read these. Not only are there the NFT of it, but you can read these um, these comic books. So, and people look, they love, you know what I'm saying? They Ultraman, they love their adventure time, Back to the Future. So, my thoughts on it, you know, like I said, nothing. Let's go ahead and pull that back for a second. One last thing I want to show you that before I um, put it down in my hand. I can't do it. I can't see what I'm doing, but whatever. You see the dark line with the number of jewels, $6.99, and it drops in 12 hours that dark and then notify me above that. People tap there real fast with their fingers right as the drop comes because it's super hard to get these drops, almost impossible with robots and whales and, you know, try to be on the fastest connection time, either 5G or, or Wi-Fi that you can imagine. You know, you have to have every advantage imaginable. But, yeah, like I said, so as we get close to the time, people, some people were saying to stay on. And we'll talk way more about Vivi. There's a lot of thoughts I have about, you know, buying multiple of, you know, which ones you should buy now, buying multiple of them and, and what that will look like in the future. But if you decide to try this for tomorrow, people tap their finger there in between there in that space. Because if you tap there, it's going to say something. You don't want it to do that. Like, um, oh, it says, like, notify me. But if you tap that, it says that coming soon. You don't want that. You want to be in that space there. Not where it's hitting that notify. You see that thing that's hitting up above every time I click it. You don't want that. You want to be in that, in that space, in there. So when it, because that's where it's going to, the buy now is going to happen as soon as the clock tick at, which will be 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on December 30th, 2021. But, you know, these drops happen all the time for different things. And they're very, they're not expensive, $6.99. This is going to be hundreds of dollars in, uh, <laughs> by the end of the day if you can get in on this. So, or hundreds of gem. Like I said, we don't know how the money's going to work out yet. But, I'm optimistic. So tapping on that, tap, tap, tap to try to get to that. Um, and it hap and they have rebound, rebounds, which I believe are people aren't able to pay for what they um, clicked on and said they wanted to buy. And it's every four minutes after. So it'll be 11.04, 11.08, 11.12, 11.16 .11 with decreasing numbers of additions. And so that's almost going to be unheard of with this 1,000 tomorrow. But hey, so you can try um every four minutes for a half you know for the first up to um eleven twenty eight eastern standard time to see if you can you know get a a rebound addition meaning one that sold but they weren't able to pay for it so it went back out to sell again uh, that's about it in terms of that um there was something else I just wanted to say before I let you go, but I'm not going to keep you long. I think this is has an opportunity to be something super huge, especially if you're in on it early. It's still very early to be in on this. And, you know, this is something that, you know, is part of the metaverse. And the metaverse seems to be like something that's going to be in inevitable at this point. So we'll see with that. I love you. You love you. 
God loves us, and that's all that matters.